Welcome back to part three, the final video in our series on how to make jerk blocks. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to put the rubber on top as well as this lip right here, as well as the handles that we've got on the sides of the blocks. Let's get to it. First, we're attaching the handles to the topper. These are simple gate handles available at any hardware store. In terms of height, we simply eyeballed the center, but in terms of width, we measured for the center, which is located at 10 and a quarter inches from either end. The screws that came with the gate handles were pretty short, so we used one and a quarter inch screws instead. We attached the handles before putting the rubber mat on top of this block, since the handles made the topper easier to move around, but you could attach the handles after installing the mat as well. To cut the three quarter inch thick horse stall mat for the topper, take one of the plywood sheets for the topper and use it as a template to trace the correct shape. Or, if you've already attached all of the plywood to your toppers, you can simply use the topper itself as the template. We were fortunate as we had some leftover pieces of rubber mat that were already the correct width, so we only had to make one cut. When cutting rubber mats, you can certainly use a utility knife, but using a jigsaw makes the job far easier and far quicker. Next, square up the rubber mat with the topper and attach the mat using 1 and 5 8 inch screws. We used one screw at each corner as well as one to two more screws along each side. One and a quarter inch screws would probably work as well. Make sure these screws are countersunk a bit below the surface of the mat itself so that the bumper plates never land directly on the screw heads themselves. To create lips that will prevent the barbell from rolling off the edges of your blocks, you'll need to cut out two 20 and a half inch long strips of horse stall mat that are each about three quarters of an inch wide. Then attach the strips of rubber to the front and back edges of the block using three screws on each strip. We're using one and five eighths inch screws here, but again, one and a quarter inch screws would probably work too. Next, take your piece of three quarter inch by one and a quarter inch wood and start cutting six inch lengths. We used gate handles for the topper because the topper's heavy, but we used these simple six inch long pieces as the handles for the stackers, as the stackers are relatively light and this is a cheaper way to go. You'll need two handles per stacker for a total of 20 handles for the entire set of blocks. Once you've measured and cut one six inch handle, you can use it as a template for the rest of the handles. You'll want to quickly sand each handle as well as you see Becky doing here. And last, Measure to find the center of each block so that you can attach the handles. From side to side, the center, again, is at 10 and a quarter inches from either end. And although we measured a few times at first to find the center from top to bottom, we ended up simply eyeballing that location most of the time. Another solution there would be to always install the handles at the top of each stacker. We used two screws on each handle, utilizing one and five eighths inch screws throughout, and you will definitely want to pre-drill each time as these small pieces will split very easily. We hope this was useful, and if it was, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. We will see you next time, and as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.